Hey guys, so today I thought we could make a really fun Valentine's Day craft and a picture of the final product was in the beginning of the video and it's just a little heart person and I thought it'd be really cute and fun since Valentine's Day is coming up and yeah, that's it. So this is a super, super easy craft that I chose. It's all you're going to need is a piece of red paper and any color paper, red or pink, or if you want to do any other color, I just thought red and pink would be very festive. Um, so you can, so what we're going to need is we're going to make one big heart, and then we're going to make four little small hearts. And then we're going to make the arms and the legs. So for the arms and legs, I'm using white. And for the small hearts, I'm going to be using pink. And then for the one big heart, I'm going to be using red. And... I actually don't have googly eyes, so... Okay, so I actually don't have googly eyes, but if you do, this would work great. And if you don't, don't worry. You can make some with white construction paper and just drawing little black pupils on top. Or you can cut out one white big circle and a small black circle and then glue those on top of each other as well. And those look just like eyes, so they work perfectly fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the big heart first. So we're going to take our first color, and we're going to fold that piece of paper in half. Just like this. And so now that we have this paper folded in half, along the binding that's closed, this is the open part, this is the closed part, we're going to draw half a heart. You can draw as big or as small as you want. I just drew it like pretty much the whole paper size. There's that so you guys can see. And that's all. And it's again on the closed side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out. And cut it out along the line with the paper closed. So that you're cutting both layers. And now once I'm done cutting, when you open it up, you have a big heart. Just like that. And that's the easiest way to do it. So now, we can cut our four smaller hearts. So for this, how I'm going to do it is the same way. I'm going to take my big piece of paper. And to save paper, you can just do a half sheet of paper. It does not matter. But I'm just going to draw two smaller hearts instead of one big heart on the binding again. So just like that, I drew two small hearts. They're a little bit different sizes, but I can always change that. And we're going to cut this out again. And that gave me two hearts, so I'm going to do that two more times, so that I have four small hearts in total. So now I have my four small hearts, and our next step is going to be to cut the arms and the legs. So I'm going to take my white piece of paper, and I'm going to cut two long strips, and then I'm going to cut two strips that are half the length of the long strips. So in total, I'm going to have four strips. Two strips are going to be long strips, and two strips are going to be shorter strips. So I cut them out, so I have two long strips and I have two short strips. And now what we're going to do with the white pieces is we're going to fold them back and forth. So then they're going to look like this. So we're going to take it and we're going to do a fold in front. And then we're going to, like that, and then we're going to fold it behind. Like so, so then it creates this little like zigzag. And we're going to do that to the whole piece of paper. Just back and forth and back and forth so that when you open it up, it looks like this. And we're going to do that to all four pieces for the whole strips. Okay, so now I have my four zigzag pieces. And what we're going to do is, if you remember the four hearts that we cut out, we're going to glue each of the hearts at the end of each zigzag piece. So your pieces at the end should look a little something like that. Okay, so now that we have all four parts with the hearts at the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to apply glue to the top of the part, either the leg or the arm. I'll st I'm starting with the leg, so I'm going to apply glue to the top of the leg. And then I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to glue it just like this onto the back of the heart. So then when you look at it from the front, it looks like that. And you can angle it to however you want. I'm actually going to angle it just like this so it's a little bit more straight. Looks like that. And I'm going to do that to the other leg. And then for the hands, we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to stick it going out to the side this time instead of going straight down. And our last step is just to glue the eyes and then draw a little smile on. Okay, so here I have 
the finished product. It's just a little Valentine's Day person. And the eyes aren't perfect, but I'm sure if you did it, it would be. And I just drew the smile on. And that's it. That's the Valentine's Day craft. So, have a good Valentine's Day.